Arctic EV road trip, day 19. Uh, we've had a couple of well-earned rest days after that terrible weather in southern Norway, well, southern Scandinavia over uh, the beginning part of the week, uh, extreme weather event hands. And, you know, as I said at the time on day 15, we kind of keep it in perspective. What happened to us was kind of a minor inconvenience compared to what other people had to go through. But even so, it was a tough day for us. And we've written about that on our, our blog um, and on our social media posts. It was a tough day. But anyway, we've had some rest. We're on the move. If you like, we're on the sort of push home back to the UK now. And it's our first country change in the best part of a fortnight we're actually in sweden i'm speaking to you from our second charging stop of the day just reading it on here hogstup uh, in sweden probably about an hour uh, past the border we're coming down the south if you can imagine we started in oslo this morning and we've headed sort of southeast we're going towards sort of the helsingborg area tonight so uh, about a six or seven hour run um, but we're kind of taking it easy. We're getting ourselves back into the swing of things. So, so we're charging uh, little and often as opposed to getting sort of really big battery charges and, and letting them last for a few hours. I think we'll probably do that tomorrow because we've got a very long drive. But um, all good so far. Uh, they, what I did find uh, about 10 minutes before was a, not a Tesla supercharger. It was a, a different brand. Uh, there was, um, uh, let's say, broke one broken out four, and the other three only. They although they had the two um, different connections, they could only power one at a time. Now the last time I experienced this was I think Norton Kane Services on the M6 toll road um, in the UK, and again it looks like there are two. Uh, but when you go to the screen, there's only enough power for one, and they looked like a very very similar. Uh, machine just branded differently so we're up against that again as I say one of the four was taped off completely and the other three suffered from that problem um, it also seemed that every car was charging at the the point to the left they've gone they'd gone on to the one to the left of it which was a bit strange so there was nowhere to maneuver anyway but yeah other than that it, it, it's been okay um, that looking back at day 15 our, our, our tough day because of the weather and the roadblocks and what have you I think we managed about three point the 3.4 3.6 miles to the kilowatt hour a bit less than what we've been getting before but we kind of expected that because it was so stop start um, and we were going up the mountains and although the regenerative braking was helping us on the downhills you know it was still just almost a write-off for the day but hey we're on our way to a lovely place in Sweden hopefully we'll be there in about four hours time it's about half three at the moment so we'll see what happens and uh, see what the, our final few days of this fantastic road trip has to bring.